I took off work today, literally to just work on my car. It is February 14th, the first event is March 3rd. I'm not ready still. I took today off so that I can get as much done on the car as I can. There's still a lot that needs to be done, but if I really wanted to, I could get this engine in today. So pretty much, I'm gonna start off by sanding off my frame rail that has bare metal showing, sand it all down, and I'm just gonna spray primer over it, check any other place in the engine bay that could be rusting, and do the same. Once that's ready, I'm going to crank the engine up with the cherry picker, drop the oil pan, clean everything up, new gasket, put the oil pan back. I also realized that I think my drain plug for my oil pan is leaking, so I'm gonna try to find another one of those and get that today too. Bailey came back and gave me my adapter plate back so I can throw that and my transmission back on. And then once those two things are done, the engine can go back in. I don't really know how much I'm gonna get done today, but I'm going to try to get as, try to make the most out of this day that I took off work. Cause I don't get very many days I can take off. Also, I'm not gonna really worry about filming too much today because I really need to get shit done and not focus on camera stuff, so. Uh, I'll film what I can, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I got the oil pan off and there is a pile of this big shit in the center of the oil pan. I poured the oil pan out and I found out that it's little pieces of gasket. So pretty much the oil pan gasket was literally sucking itself in and was just getting collected in the bottom of the oil pan. So I'm going to take my oil pan outside, spray down the hose, try to just get as much bullshit out as possible, bring it back in, degrease, brake cleaner, everything, and then I can start laying the gasket down. And I'm also going to check my oil pickup and make sure that there's nothing stuck on it that can possibly get sucked up in there. I've probably been sucking gasket up into my engine from this, but uh, it'll be all right. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm not gonna care to film it. You guys don't wanna see me use a fucking hose. So I'm gonna spray that out and start cleaning it. So I got the inside of the oil pan wiped out and cleaned up. Now I'm gonna start scraping all the old gasket off. The only thing that sucks is, I went to go buy a plastic scraper and the only thing they had was uh, this. It's like a cleaver. It's sharp on this side and this side and it's fucking huge. But it's hard plastic, it might work. Cause the only thing else they had was normal body filler scrapers and those things are weak. So I'm gonna have to scrape this shit off of this and see how it does. <laughs> Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over at, by the good folks of Guar. Oil pan is on. I used way too much RTV, like way too much. I'm kind of scared on how much will actually go inside the engine. And hopefully it doesn't fuck shit up, which it probably will. 
Also, one bolt wanted to strip. I got it in, but um, it wasn't too happy about it. But it's not really that big of a deal because, like I said before, this engine's not supposed to stay. It wasn't supposed to last this long. I'm kind of, I need to start planning on getting another engine if once this one gives. If it does, I have hope. If this thing goes another season, I'll probably bring it to a shop and have it fully rebuilt. Why not? If it lasts two seasons on like 500,000 miles, yeah, I'll fucking take care of it. <laughs> I don't think this oil pan's coming back off anytime soon, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to just start knocking shit out and not worry about filming, and then whenever I got a little bit of free time, I will switch my battery out and show you what I'm up to. So until then, I'll be right back. Fast forward like four hours and we're here. I think the engine, in theory, is ready to go in. Got the adapter plate back on, got the transmission back on, painted all the things I needed to in the engine bay, put my power steering pump on, my alternator on, that new upper radiator hose, the thermostat housing plastic thing, threw my new one on. Yeah, so I think it's ready to go. I have my buddy Kurt coming over. Uh, he's the one that actually helped me get the engine out having him help me put it back in. So I'm trying to make everything as easy as possible for me and him to just lift the engine up, toss it right in. So I'm gonna keep preparing and getting things ready. And, and since I didn't film the pulling out process, for you guys, I will film the putting in process. Hey, nobody fucking cares. I'm just gonna wait until he gets here. I'm gonna get the camera all set up for when that happens, put a new battery in. It's gonna be a whole fuck ton of footage to go through, but it'll be all right. Hope you guys are excited. Actually, I think I might make drift day. If everything goes correctly, yeah, I don't see why I couldn't. I mean, it's the 14th, the event's on the 3rd. If everything goes well and the engine just falls back in place and everything just hooks itself back together and everything works fine, all I need to do then is just buy tires, I think, and then buy my ticket in and I think I'm good to go. So, hopefully we make it. I almost forgot about you guys, but I'm, I'm putting it in. Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts to 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising. And no precipitation, we're about a half inch behind. Correction, half inch ahead for the year, and one and 53 hundredths behind. For the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today of course there's nothing showing up on the radar, however the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system and that wide band of fairly heavy snow. There's no what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there that begins at 6 o'clock in the morning and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until 2 o'clock this afternoon. I'll come back when it's done. Finished! It's crazy what happens when you're not a lazy piece of shit. Once again, that is my mustache, not dirt on my face. I did it. I put the engine in by myself because Curtis bailed on me. Fuck you, Curtis. Once again. <laughs> Engine's in. Transmission's bolted up. I got the engine mount bolt slid through. Not tight yet. But that's pretty much it for me tonight. Now, there's no reason for me to do anything else. I took this day off to work on the car, and I got more than I wanted to done tonight, so I'm going to go inside relax, not fucking do shit, and probably start working on it again tomorrow. Pretty much the only thing else I need to do is do all the plumbing, which includes the radiator and fuel lines, do the wiring, which is what's scaring me the most, shifter, drive shaft, and then fluids. That's all I got for tonight, guys. I will see you guys next time. Screen cap for thumbnail. Just pick one, faggot. It's not that it's not that hard.